joke for you. What kind of music are balloons scared of? Pop music. Pop, get it? Popular music. Pop a balloon. Well, I'm really excited to have you all here today. We're going to keep going um, today with our study of the instruments of the orchestra. So, so far this week, we've talked about an orchestra being a large group of musicians playing together with instruments. A band is also a large group of instruments playing together, but they don't have the string family and they actually have some additional um, band instruments that we'll talk about a little bit today as well. But the instruments of the orchestra are broken down into four families and families of instruments have things in common. Name the families of the symphony orchestra. Again, name the families of the symphony orchestra. I'm with you this time. Name the families of the symphony orchestra. Brass, percussion, woodwinds, strings. Name the families of the symphony orchestra. Brass, percussion, woodwinds, strings. So when I saw you on Wednesday, we talked about the first two families, brass, which Elliot came and played his trumpet. And we also learned that the trombone, the tuba and the French horn are part of those families as well with their big bells and their funnel shaped mouthpieces and um, the valves that they have except for the trombone with its slide. And we talked about percussion instruments. Sometimes people call them the drum family, but that's not really accurate because drums you strike or hit, which is one thing that makes a percussion instrument. But remember, percussion instruments can also be shaken, like this really cool African rattle, and they can also be scraped, like a wiro that we have here. So percussion is anything shaken, scraped, or struck. So today we're gonna focus a bit more on the woodwind family and the string family, the biggest section in the orchestra. So for the woodwind family, there are really different instruments. They all look quite different from another, uh, one another, but they do have things in common, which put them in the same family. So the piccolo here, and this one happens to be black and silver, is the smallest instrument in the woodwind family. That means it's going to play the highest pitched notes. Remember we talked about with the trumpet and the tuba, how the tuba is so large it plays very low notes. But the piccolo, as tiny as it is, is kind of like the little sister or brother of the flute. And if you see a little bit closer here, there are a lot of keys. All of the woodwind instruments have many, many keys, not just three or sometimes four valves or slides like the brass family. They have different keys to press. And the flute has a mouthpiece that you blow across, kind of like you would blow across a bottle if you've ever done that and you make a sound. That's how the flute and piccolo work, blowing across the hole to make beautiful sounds. And I'll remind you of that playlist where you can go and hear all of these instruments on their own and with the orchestra. The next instrument is the clarinet. So here you see clarinet and its big cousin, the bass clarinet that plays lower notes. The clarinet, if you see right there, has a lot of keys just like the flute. But the clarinet 
and a lot of the other woodwind instruments have something different up here on their mouthpieces. Instead of a hole that you just blow over, they have a mouthpiece and a reed. And I'm gonna have another special guest star come in a little bit here and um, show you up close and personal what the reed looks like. And we'll talk about that in a minute. This is a really interesting instrument, the bassoon and the contra bassoon, so the low bassoon. And the bassoon, there you see lots of keys, but it's reed is very different than what you're going to see the clarinet use. The oboe and the English horn also use double reeds. You look there, I have one at school, but not here to show you right now, but the double reed is two thin pieces of wood wrapped together. And when you blow into the reed, it turns into sound throughout the instrument. So oboe and English horn, Go backwards. Bassoon and the contra bassoon. The clarinet and the bass clarinet. And of course, the flute and the piccolo. Make up the woodwind family. <laughs> well, hey everybody. I've got our guest star for the day here, Ethan, my oldest son. He's going to be 18 in a couple weeks and he's graduating from high school this year. So Ethan has a different instrument we didn't talk about today. He's got a saxophone. And if he holds it up, you're gonna see the saxophone has a whole bunch of keys, just like the clarinet, the oboe, the flute, the piccolo, the bassoon had. So he's got all kinds of keys. But it can be kind of confusing because it's brass colored, like the trumpet, trombone, and the French horn and tuba. But this is definitely a woodwind because it has keys and because it has a reed. I'm gonna have Ethan get real close so you can all see that reed. Get up there, Ethan. So this reed is just a thin piece of wood that makes all the sound happen possible on the saxophone. So Ethan blew into the mouthpiece without the reed. Listen to what happens. Just blow into that. Hey, okay, nothing, no sound at all. But when he takes his reed, and he puts it on the mouthpiece and he uses something called a ligature to tighten it down, then you're gonna hear a whole bunch of sound. Gotta get it just right. You have to be really careful that you don't break the reed because then it doesn't work anymore. So now just adding that little piece of wood to the mouthpiece, you get that really screechy loud sound. When Ethan puts it on his saxophone though, then you're gonna hear some really cool sounds. And before, like I told you, the orchestra doesn't have saxophones in it. The saxophone was created for jazz and band instrument more. It's really loud, um, but it's, it's got this cool tone. So it doesn't really, you won't see it in an orchestra, but you'll definitely see it in jazz music and in marching bands. So here's a little taste of the saxophone. Oh, nice See, it just makes some makes some notes for <laughs> to talk about with the instruments of the orchestra, and that's the string family. The string family is what makes the orchestra the orchestra. They are the biggest section, so that means they're the most of these instruments in the orchestra. And if you ever heard a band play, you wouldn't typically hear the string instruments. And the string instruments, it's all really, it's easy to see why they all belong to the same family, because they all look a lot of like. And when you don't see them in person, it's even hard to tell that they're different because it's all about their size. Oh, Charlie's saying he's sorry for barking before. So the string instruments right here, we have the violin. And if you look at these, there are four strings on the violin. There's a bow. There's four tuning pegs right here that help the sound 
um, change on the strings. Look at this beautiful instrument. Here's where your chin goes. Just giving you a moment to look at it. There's a lot to look at there. So violin is the smallest of the string instruments. Next, viola. That viola, viola. And if you look at these side by side, you can get them both in there. Like I said, it doesn't look like they're really any different. They both have four strings, the tuning pegs, place for your chin, chin holder here, the bow. But they're different because the viola is bigger. Um, the next one, even bigger yet, is a cello. And the cello does have something different than the violin and the viola. Can you find it? It's at the bottom. Yeah, right here. This is called an end pin. And the end pin is there because when you play the cello, the player needs to sit down and the end pin rests on the floor for balance because it's that big. It would be really hard to play standing up. And the biggest of them all, end peg right here, end pin, sorry, is the double bass. Sometimes people call it the string bass or just the bass. This instrument is so big that players need to stand up or sit on a tall stool in order to be able to reach the strings. But if you look too, still has four strings, tuning pegs, no place for resting your chin on this one, but the bow as well. So the double bass. And a very popular string instrument that we don't always get to see in an orchestra is a harp. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And a lot of times you don't see harps because one, it's a really difficult instrument to play. Two, it's huge and most harpists need to own their own harp in order to practice at home. And it, it, not everybody has a harp. So um, it's a special treat when you see an orchestra that has a harp in it. But just beautiful, beautiful instrument there. Now, if you look here, it says percussion on the side, if you've been paying attention, strings. So the harp and the piano are kind of stuck in between two families. The harp, we said that anything that you strike or shake or scrape, to play the harp, you're only plucking, you're not using a bow. And plucking is a lot like striking an instrument. So it's a percussive movement, that's a big word, percussive movement to pull those strings. So that's one reason it's also in the percussion family. But the piano, which I think is so cool, of course, because I play the piano, is definitely in the string and the percussion family. Because if you look inside here, there's some really cool videos where you see the inside of a piano. But there's all strings in here. All strings. And when you press one of these keys, it pushes down a hammer that hits the string. So it does match that percussion definition as well. It strikes the string, but it's striking a string, so it's in both families as well. It's a beautiful grand piano. So we have gotten through all the instruments of the symphony orchestra this week. Um, but again, you can check out the playlist that I made for you um, that is um, under this channel as well. So one more time, name the families of the symphony orchestra, brass, percussion, woodwinds, strings. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. A, B, C, you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I have to go now. J, doodly doodly do. K, bye bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, are you gonna miss me? S, T, you are my best friends. V, W, X, Y. Because I love ya, Z. That's all. Spread kindness and peace wherever you go. 
Love, Mrs. Waldron.